In today's video, we're going to look at something slightly different. We're going to compare a 150 gallons per day RO machine with a 100 gallons per day machine. And does that extra 50 gallons make a difference? Since day one, I've made my own RO and also salt water. And in that time, I'm on my third machine. I had a 50 gallon, then a 100 gallon, and now a 150 gallon. Still got the 100 gallons. So I thought I'd do a comparison, see how long it took to make 10 liters of water. And is it worthwhile upgrading to 150 gallons per day? Before I go into that, I think there are three things that make a difference to the speed of the water that you make. One is the water quality. So what I mean by that is, if you have a TDS meter, and I would always recommend that for an RM machine, what is the level of which it goes into the machine? As you can see with mine, it's way over 300. Whereas I know in other parts of the country in the UK, it can be as low as 20 or 30. And that certainly does create more wastewater when it's higher. Also found the outside conditions, i.e. the weather makes a big difference. I make mine outside. I don't make it inside for the simple reason I don't trust myself. I'd forget and end up flooding the kitchen or the garage, or one of the other rooms. So I've always made it out on the patio. But I find that in the winter and the colder the weather, the slower the production. Whereas the warmer the weather, the quicker the production. The third one is the water pressure. Again, if your water pressure is low, you've got less input going through, and this seems to reduce water production. As you can see, mine's at about 50, and again, we'll do a test later on around what is production like with or without an RO pump. So this is the pump, a DD pump. All you do is plug in the connection from your water into the pump, then that goes straight into the RO machine, and, um, and away you go. Obviously, you need to plug it into electricity, which is a bit of a pain if you're um, outside. So now that pump is fitted, does it make a difference? So let's have a look. So before the pump was switched on, it was around 50 PSI, and now it's up to 80 PSI, which is about a 60% increase. But does it make that much of a difference? We'll have to wait and see. So what is the difference between 100 gallon and 150 gallon? Well, I can only speak about the two machines I've got. And the one addition you'll see, there's an extra pod on top. Uh, and basically that has two membranes as opposed to one membrane. They've still got the three canisters. So one is DI resin, one is a filter, and one is carbon. And that is the same on both. So now for the test, we're now gonna see how long it takes to make 10 liters of water on a 100 gallon without a pump and with the pump, and then 10 liters with 150 gallons per day RO unit without the pump and with the pump. So let's start with the 100 gallon. And the blue pipe is the outlet pipe for the RO that's being produced. And as you can see, there was a slight difference between on the left with the pump and on the right without the pump, but neither is really making that much water. Whereas the red is the waste and it's gushing out of both. Slight difference between the two, but not a lot. But you can just see how much waste you get you can see a big difference on the 150 gallons per day with increased production, especially with the pump on the left-hand side. But where you can see the real difference is on the wastewater with the outlet on the left a lot lower than on the right. And this is much improved on the 100 gallons per day RO. Before we get into the results, I just want to say that however long it takes for me to make RO will be very different to you and every other reefer because of the variations I've said earlier around using a pump, not using a pump, size of the machine, water quality, and also the outside conditions. But what it should do is give an indication of the difference between 150 and 100 machine by using a pump. So without further ado, let's have a look at how long it took to make 10 liters of water with 100 gallons per day unit and with the pump on it was just over 50 minutes and without the pump it was one hour 38 minutes which is incredible and I did not realize just how long it took to make water with my old unit. Okay so let's take a look now at the 150 gallon per day RO unit results. 10 liters with a pump was 26 minutes and without a pump was 51 minutes. So that is twice the speed with exactly the same unit and the only difference is having a pump. Last but not least, the 150 gallon with a pump was 26 minutes and the 100 gallon without a pump was one hour 38. So that is one hour 
and 22 minutes longer to make the same amount of water, which is pretty astonishing. So whilst you will get very different results to myself, I'm sure there'll be similarities between these results, given the extra membrane and the pump as well. I hope you found this video useful, and please put in your comments the kind of times it takes for you to produce 10 litres of water. And I'm sure for most of you, it's a lot quicker than me. Thanks for watching.